the new crappie slayer this is a two inch crappie bait you could fish for other things with it as well but we wanted something that really emphasized crappie fishing for all you guys that love crappie fishing and this is a 24 cavity mold so a ton of cavities let's shoot this guy quick and then i will talk more about the design and i'll show you guys the texture we put on the back of the bait also we put a square runner on this guy same injection port square runner and that is so that the baits pull off perfect every single time on this style of bait throw our bar clamps on there get our glasses ready the airflow going right here this is a fan in a window we have a door right there bringing fresh cold air in here and since it's cold outside this time of year we are actually going to heat up the mold just slightly because it is winter you don't want to be shooting into ice cold molds just take a heat gun and, and blast it for 30 seconds maybe That's all nice and warm now. And if you're gonna shoot laminates, heat up your injectors and your mixing block to make sure you have really good flow through there. You're not cooling that plastic. You really wanna know what the temperature is you're shooting at, especially if you have in other molds, you may be troubleshooting or something. It is key to make sure everything's, you know, not super cold. And if you have like a metal workbench, that's gonna suck all the heat out of your, your aluminum mold. So we like to work on wood so it doesn't transfer heat as much. It's more insulating. Definitely heat those up. And this is only, remember, just warm. We're not making these fiery hot. There are some other molds that maybe need to be a lot hotter. And this is only done the first time you guys are shooting these if it's cold out, because as you're shooting, the molds are gonna stay warm and actually gonna get even warmer than they are right now. So just to take that cold edge off of them. Gonna be using Bait Plastics 242. It's a nice medium blend, ultra clear. Low bubbles until I shake it. Now there's a ton of bubbles. And we'll throw these guys in the microwave to get them above 350 degrees. We want to shoot for 360, 370. I can even go 380, but definitely go over 350 to get these to start to solidify. This is a great time now that your plastic is getting warm. Make sure your ventilation is running. Get your glasses on, gloves. Wear sleeves if you can. You do not want to get burnt. Trust me, guys. It is no fun. One of the important things to do while this is heating up is to actually mix it uh, along the way. If you don't mix it, you'll end up scorching and burning part of the plastic. So just, you know, do initially you can do like a minute or a minute and a half for two cups. And then you want to do 30 second increments to bring each cup up to temperature. So I'm going to go to one cup, put it in there, 30 seconds mix, 30 seconds mix until you really get comfortable knowing how much time your microwave takes to heat your plastic in your cups. All right, this is at 370. You'll see how it's steaming. It's a lot more gelled and clear now. And there's a lot of bubbles in there because we shook it. So we are going to throw in the degasser, get the other one in temp, and then we'll start mixing our colors. Woo! There is our two degassed cups of 242 medium blend plastic salt from Bait Plastics. So now we are going to mix up our colors really quick. We're gonna do one in Lime Truce, which is a super bright green from Bait Plastics. Make sure to shake these up too. The other is gonna be in Sky Blue. To go along with those, we're gonna do green and blue highlight. And let's get our flake. We're gonna do some of the silver string flake and some of this uh, holographic silver 0 0.015 super tiny flake. Start off by doing our small holographic flake uh, in this one first. Our string flake in the other one. And this is where you're gonna wanna use two different butter knives. You don't wanna start mixing the flakes or the colors. And I'm starting with the flake because a good friend of ours, he actually said he's been starting with the flakes to build the texture and kind of like if you ever mix plastic and you put your pigment in and then you add your flake and it's like darker than you thought. Well, if you start with a flake, he was saying you can kind of remedy that situation because you're adding your pigment later. So you add less pigment and you, you know, you can actually match the right translucency of the plastic then. You're not shading it out with the flake. And also you can control the texture better, he was saying. So we're, we've never done this. We're trying it right now. But I, I understand what he's saying. I think it's gonna be awesome. Gonna do just a touch more of that. And those are cooling off, so I'm gonna throw them in the microwave for 30 seconds, bring them back up and temp a little bit, and we'll go with the highlight powders next. 
belly color of this bait is going to be green, so we're going to take a little scoop of this green highlight. Just a little bit, like that much. Throw it in there. And using a different mini spoon here, we're going to throw a little bit of the blue highlight into the container with the string flake. That's our back color. And now we're going to move on to our pigments. We'll start with the lime truce. Put a few drops in here. And that kind of, that kind of poured. So we're going to see where we're at. <laughs> we'll throw the, the sky blue in here. A few more drops. So here is the final kind of green color. Pretty translucent. Has a lot of that shimmer to it. And the highlight kind of gives it that little extra a green flare. And then the blue is a little less see-through. It has that string flake and the blue highlight. Again, just to add a little extra flare. Gonna throw these in the microwave. We're gonna try to shoot these at about 330, 320, somewhere in there. Right now, they're at about 316, so just a few seconds to bring them back up to temperature. Get my butter knives out of the way. Pigments back. And this is a great time to oil your injector if you have not done so. Simple worm oil. Run it through there. If you're shooting single colors, you will have only one of these tubes and you will not have this, but if you're shooting dual laminates or even triple, a dual, you have two injectors attached, triple laminate, you have three injectors attached, and then you have a dual or a triple blending block or mixing block. Basically, it takes two colors in the top side here and it puts them out the single hole right into your port. And if you look at our mold, you'll see that is the top of the bait and this side is the belly of the bait. So you know which color goes on which half mold and how to orientate your mixing block. So we want to go across this way and our top is on our left side. So that'll be our blue. 333 degrees on the green, 332-ish on the blue. So we are going to go ahead and shoot this mold right now. Bottom green, blue top, get our injector. Hold pressure for, you know, eight to 10 seconds. I can do that just to make sure there's no denting in the industrial process. These are held under a lot of pressure while the mold is cooled, resulting in fuller finished bait. After 10 seconds, pull it off. Shoot the extra there. Throw a little extra in the sprue. Now, you'll see this dimple down on this mold a little bit. Um, like most molds, we don't have to worry. I actually spaced out from the top of the mold to the first bait, to the top of the gate there. That's actually one inch, and it's a quarter inch diameter sprue. It's very unlikely it's gonna actually suck down into the cavities. And it's only been 30 seconds or so. We're gonna demold this. I'm too excited right now. I have not shot this color. We actually had Hassie shooting a few different colors. So we'll take some of those when we go fishing later. But otherwise, I'm stoked to see this color. I've never made this before, so. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That came out perfect, like better than I could have imagined. Like, look at the parting line. The two colors shot perfectly laminated. And that was, I believe I said 330. So now the mold is warmer. If you were to reshoot, you could even drop it down to 320, but that shot great. And again, hold a little bit of pressure. You don't have to go crazy on the pressure, just a little bit. Those are amazing. Now let me pull these off and show you guys. So the design of this bait is specifically for crappie. It'll catch a number of other things, but that tail, has a lot of action and that tail will actually get more spring as the plastic actually cures so after like 24 hours or so that'll have a lot more bounce let me grab some of the ones from uh from yesterday this is monkey milk uh you see how much bounce that tail has and this here is a uh, black in monkey milk and that tail has a lot more spring to it and this is also the 242 blend of bait plastics so when this one cures you see how it's kind of limp right now it'll have a lot more spring to it as this bait actually cures. So you wanna lay those out and let them cure. And let's talk about the actual tail shape of this. The tail actually starts out almost as a cylinder or a circle here. And as it gets to the tip, if you look at it from the side profile, 
it's super thin, but if you turn it to the top, it's actually thicker. And that's so that as this bait is fished uh, vertically, like the lower your boat or cast out and kind of bounce back, that tail is actually going to have more, it's gonna catch more water and move this way. Uh, also, we blended the tail transition into the body seamlessly. The belly is very smooth on this bait. And then the back has micro ribbing on there, super tiny ribbing to give it that little extra flash, kind of like fish scale. You can see it better on the black here. There's that micro ribbing and then the belly is smooth. The front is flat for putting it, I guess, a jig head and the top is flatter than the belly. The belly is more, uh, more rounded like this and the top is actually kind of like squared off. That turned out amazing, guys. I'm super stoked about these. I'm gonna lay these out to cure for a little bit and then we're gonna grab a rod and maybe Amanda will come with, but we're gonna go throw some, throw some baits for a little while, maybe grab some coffee and uh, show you guys how these work, show you some action shots. All right. Woo, here we go. I'm gonna give you this guy. That's the better one. Got the monkey milk, one thirty-second ounce on there, but we might switch to a heavier one. And I got the uh, bluegrass on there, bluegrass. Kentucky bluegrass. Cassie's favorite. Cassie's favorite, and uh, one thirty-second ounce jig head as well. Grab the bucket. Danger zone here. Oh god, that one's loose. I'm falling in the water down there. All right. Oh. <laughs> First cast was not successful. We're gonna let these uh, go down, hit the bottom. You shouldn't be able to snag on anything. And then you wanna just keep your rod up, just really slowly bring it in. There we go, there we go. Something, I feel like I just killed it when I hook set. First copy of the day on the uh, sunrise. That's not even what it's called, bluegrass. There it is. That was a horrible cast. It's on a heavier jig head and then you can get out to that stump right there. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that stumps. That's where we need to get to. The crappie uh, trading post. I'm gonna try that paired with these, which is monkey milk and black top. And Cassie shot these yesterday. They look really good. I mean, to me, that looks insane, but we'll see what the fish think. I mean, that, that's awesome. Oh, she hooked up. Oh, nice work. Pop her up. Small, but good. Look at that. That's actually a good size. Yeah, it's not bad. Let me get some water. Okay, throw them in. Heck yeah, that is awesome. Oh, she's hooked up. A little small. Oh, I got one. I think I got one. Yeah, I got one, right? She got one. It's a bass? Yeah, I saw that. And I got a bluegill. She just got a bass. I just got a bluegill. It was a baby striper, baby white bass. There you go. So baby wiper. Baby wiper. And uh, officially, baby bluegill here. <sighs> See you later, buddy. That was a seriously awesome day of fishing. It was only like an hour total, but we had a blast, right? Awesome time. Heck Beautiful yeah. day here, February day in Alabama. That's right. I think that's my new favorite bait, honestly. It used to be the two inch slick swim and the 1.7, but that thing, it just seems to dart around a lot. It has a lot of, I mean, it's, it's a different approach. It's a slower, more finesse style bait, but I love it. And shooting it's a blast because you can shoot double, triple lamb, and it's super easy uh, right into there without the sprue divider or anything. We're gonna run home. She's gonna feed the seven month old. I'm gonna get the mold cranking in the machines for you guys um and then tonight we'll do a little fish fry with the fin guy with that one crappie so thanks for checking us out today guys and have an awesome day